Who am I speaking with? Hi, I'm Charlie Isaacs. I'm with Alcatel-Lucent. I work for the Genesis Lab. And you were just telling me that you are using Zoho for prototyping. Explain to me how you're doing that. Yeah, whenever I need to get up a quick demonstration or a quick prototype of one of my application ideas, uh, I could pretty much, within the matter of an hour, uh, build a form-based solution that has a database on the back end using uh, Zoho and uh, connect it either through email interactions or directly um, from a front-end GUI that I develop in PHP or using Zoho's uh, own user interface to uh, store data in the Zoho database. It's very quick and very easy and allows me to prototype things in a matter of minutes. So that, that's pretty cool. So uh, walk me through which uh, Zoho tools are you using there? Okay, I'm using the Zoho Creator. And what I do is if I have an idea for a form-based application, I'll go in and drag and drop the fields onto the screen and uh, decide on the fly which fields I want. And then um, I will uh, store my data within the Zoho database and either interact with that from the Zoho user interface or uh, use another application to uh, query the data out of the Zoho database and bring it back into, for example, a handheld application. And uh, I'm currently hosting uh, a solution that allows you to scan a uh, QR code and it actually goes out to the Zoho database and searches the Zoho database for uh, UPC codes and things like that and brings back menu items that dynamically build a menu within the handheld uh, with data that's stored in my Zoho database. Excellent. And you, you mentioned that um, you were, you're now using Zoho for prototyping, but what did you use before this? When you had to prototype, how were you handling this? How difficult was it? Well, usually what I'd do is I'd have to uh, build something in you know, a SQL database, like either, well, my SQL is pretty easily, but it doesn't allow you to uh, have the associated form on the front end. Um, of course, there's always Oracle and there's always MS SQL Server. Uh, but if I want to do something quick and dirty and get it up and running quickly, I use Zoho and it, it's there for me and it's really easy to use. How long was it taking you before? Oh, it would take uh, you know eight to ten hours versus one hour with Zoho.